Hi, my name's Atlanta and welcome to this week's episode of Atlanta Delivers. Bit of a different one, I've got gloves and a helmet on now. We're going to be delivering on the e-bike. Kindly, I have for a month from e-scooter. Um, so if you want to check them out, the website eScooter.com and you can use my discount code ATLANTA for 5% off, which is amazing. And big shout out to Belivery for helping to arrange it. Belivery is one of the delivery companies I deliver for and they do same day grocery anywhere in the UK and I will pop a £5 off your first order in the top line of the description too. So we'll be using Uber Eats, Deliveroo and Belivery. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and let's go. We are off. You've got the indicators here and then once you finish indicating you press the white button to stop indicating oh delivery broadwater fryer uh, let's pull over they're too slow so we will not do that order <laughs> not good they're back on delivery uh, restaurant waiting time got mirrors check hold the green button down until you're ready to pedal and then just let go of it you just pedal slowly to keep you accelerated Right, I have accepted a Waitrose order for £4.33. Uh, let's put on our, do I need to cycle maps? So let's see how far it is, so just so we know. Nine minutes cycle, 1.6 miles there. Uh, I don't need my maps because I know where I'm going. Actually, th to be fair, there is quicker routes when you're cycling, so I will put it on. We are off. It's a pleasant evening this evening. Right, this is cycle only, which we are. I don't want to go quick, too, too quick down here. <laughs> it's a bit too quick. This is a cycle path, but I don't want to go too quick. We are well and truly off. We are doing the limit, 15.5 miles per hour. Hopefully it's not going to be a heavy shopping order. Sometimes Waitrose isn't too bad. It's not like Asda with the amount of uh, shopping items. So hopefully it's a nice light one. <laughs> up to the traffic lights normally like if you were cycling it'd be such a stress when you get to a traffic light but literally i'll show you you'd literally press the green button and you're off and you get back to like the limit 15.5 miles per hour so quickly so it's the button here you hold it down when you're good to go so this car goes now hold it down i start pedaling we're up to 10 miles per hour 11 12 13 there we go and we're back to the limit it's literally that quick it's amazing the hills as well they are no stress at all no much any more effort uphill downhill on flat it's literally all the same nearly there three minutes 0 0.5 miles to go oh i forgot to turn off uber uber's just coming up with an order so far i've had so many comments from people like about the bike because it's not like anyone's really seen before not many people i don't think have these but i definitely think they're the future so many people have asked about them and they're like are they legal and i'm like yeah of course it's legal you get on the back a little plate that shows the um, battery power and the speed limit to show everything is completely legal so with these you don't need a license you don't need any insurance you don't have to wear a helmet, but obviously it's best to. Um, literally like anyone. I think there's an age limit of like 14 plus, I think it is. Just about to turn up. Are they even still open? No. Am I actually gonna be able to do this order? They're shut. Is anyone actually gonna be here? Oh, they're definitely shut. Let's have a look quickly. I don't think anyone's gonna be here. They shut two and a half hours ago. Very we cool. That's so annoying. You're through to delivery support. Oh, she's got else. one. Hi. I, st I thought I'd driven here, er well, cycled here and then it wasn't gonna be here. That's <laughs> Are the delivery still open then? No, we've literally just shut. Oh, okay, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Right. Thank you. Yeah, no, on the top of the week, it's six now. Oh, yeah. okay, that's all right. I was like, no, no one's here. <laughs> Thank you so much. The order is for potatoes, chicken, and sausages. So that was nice and not too heavy. Let's see how far we've got to go. So we have 10 minutes, 1.7 miles. It's going to Taring. 
It was weird. It's like an empty car park. She said now it's, um, what is it, quarter past six and they now shut at six on a, a Sunday instead of four o'clock. So that's good. I'm glad I was able to do that order. I really thought I wasn't going to be able to. You can, if I wasn't able to do it, then you can put in a fee query form so that you get paid some of it back. But you only get some of it, not all of it. See there, like you couldn't turn left in a car, but on a bike you can. It's actually quite handy. See, this isn't heavy on my back at all. Probably in like a little bag, it might be a bit heavy, like if you're in a car, but it's actually not too bad on my back at all. Ben always delivers on his scooter with a backpack and he personally finds it better than having a box on the back. Um, with a box, he says it tips a bit. If it's like a heavy shopping order, or um, coffees are a lot more stable being in a backpack to not spill. Straight away, we're back up to the speed limit. It's so different on a bike. It takes you ages to get up any speed and it's obviously so much effort. Whereas this is literally no effort and you get to the speed limit straight away. It's actually so much fun. I had my little one over the weekend and I just dropped her back and then I got back and then I was out. I'm going straight out on the bike. Um, because it's just fun. <laughs> With the charger, I've got a spare battery and all you do is plug it into either a mains lead um, with the battery out or you can plug it in on the bike. Uh, I believe it takes up to seven hours to charge um, and you get up to 40 miles, 40 to 50 miles per battery. So if you had to, in theory, you'll get 80 to 100 miles and then you need to charge them. You could just have one battery, um, depending on the miles you're doing, I suppose, and what purpose for. It might be that you're using it just for leisure or to just go to and from work um, or like me doing deliveries. Getting there, four minutes, 0 0.8 miles to go. Down here, indicator on. Check the mirrors for any cars. Turn the indicator off. I've only done a few deliveries so far, but it's been no struggle at all. And it's a lot more fun. <laughs> Straight down this road and then we're nearly there. I guess you're getting a little bit fit because you're using your legs, um, but not with like any pressure at all. My dad was like to me, he was like, I really enjoy like cycling, but not getting sweaty. And I was like, well, this is perfect then because you're like cycling but you don't get sweaty at all. <laughs> Hi. Hi, there we go. You Thank you very much. Very Thank much. you. Now the delivery is popping up already, Worthing Fisheries will accept that. I've accepted Worthing Fisheries for, I think it was around the same price of £4.30, which I'm only 2 minutes 0 0.5 miles away from the pickup. So last time I was here they were a bit slow last week, but hopefully it won't be as busy. I think that was on a Friday night. Everyone's looking, like even when I did that drop off, they're like everyone's looking, no matter how old they are, like if they're really old or middle-aged, young, everyone's like, huh? Never seen one of these before. <laughs> it's great because you have indicators as well, so you don't have to like stick out your arm, which I'm not the best at cycling, so having indicators that are really easy to use is actually amazing. <laughs> oh, it's really busy. There's a big queue. Oh, let's go have a look at how long it'll be. Oh, it's a big order. I feel like it's going to be a long time. Excuse me. Sorry. 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 Can I get the vegan chicken burger? That's my order here. I have the order. It was around a 10 to 15 minute wait. It was a bit slow again, but ooh, we got to go up a bike lane. 
not used to bike lanes. Um, 10 to 15 minute wait and now we have quite a long journey, 15 minutes, 2.4 miles to get to the customer. But that does bring us back to Broadwater, which is my happy place to be. So I don't mind, I was in a tree there. I've just swapped camera angles again. Um, just whilst I'm trying to get used to it and then when I get there I'm going to try the chest mount again but have it higher I think uh, as it was just too low and I didn't really like it it was very busy at the fish and chip shop there was a queue out the door and quite a few people queuing out the door um, hence why there was a bit of a wait but I actually was the first one to get an order out of anyone I guess in theory it should have been ready because it said when I got there the collection time was for 21 minutes past and it was 31 minutes past when I looked so it's in theory it was made about 20-25 minutes late but it is what it is <laughs> where the hell it wants me to go over the the train track thing I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that I don't think I want to no I don't want to do that <laughs> <laughs> it wants me to go up and over the train crossings but I think I'm just gonna go the roadway <laughs> don't know if it adds on any time or not but it adds on one minute apparently but it would take me longer to go up and over because there's people walking on it as well nice journey so far I love going through all the roads like you couldn't normally drive through or the cycle part I literally I don't know why I feel like because I've never even noticed them before like it's so much fun going on them. <laughs> we have five minutes, 0 0.7 miles left and it's going to a flat block. After the second day I took it out and someone reversed into the bike, um, I am going to park more like on the uh, pavements and stuff as you are allowed to on a bike just to be safe. There's obviously gonna be no cars there or hopefully not. I almost like, on some of them I know I'm not quicker than in a car but it feels like I am but a lot of them I am actually quicker especially when there's traffic because you can go around it but it's really nice when the roads are quiet as well just to cycle around nearly there three minutes it brings us right back to Broadwater uh, which is my favorite place to deliver so hopefully we'll get an order there or after difference though of being on a e-bike account is the pay is less than being in a car but I guess it's because you're not paying insurance and you're not paying for fuel. So it kind of makes sense. I don't know. It's hard to know where I can go. Like, could I have just gone straight over there? Or I'm going to go round the roundabout. Because um, I don't know where I'm officially allowed. We'll go round the roundabout. Those mirrors are very handy that you don't like on a bike when you have to look. Like, you've got mirrors like a motorbike. <laughs> Just walk over there if I park the bike. That order is all complete. Just got back to Cricketers Parade and I'm just waiting for an order to come in. I rejected a couple. There's quite a lot of drivers at um, KFC, but I'm just waiting for one to come in. Okay, we have an order for KFC Broadwater on Uber Eats. Lock the bike. Yeah, I think that's mine. Okay. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. there was some young girl and she tried barging in behind me through the delivery driver door and hello I don't know you but hi <laughs> who's that um she pushed behind me and then she was like oh, said something really rude and I'm like what's well, the delivery driver door and she's like I don't give up and swearing at me I'm like eh? I don't get what is wrong with people <laughs> okay so we're nearly there we got three minutes 0 0.5 miles left nearly nearly there now where does it want me to go over the train track oh, i'm gonna have to do it this time because i don't know where it's going so i'm gonna have to go over the train track things it does say it's for bikes though
Thank you. Two minutes. I guess possibly like then it would have taken longer to drive because you'd have to go round. McDonald's. Accept that. Oh, it looks like there is a 1.3 boost on, on Uber, which is good because it wasn't showing me the boost. Now it's showing me, so that's good. There we go. Have a good evening. Thank you. Ah, oh, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Get rid of the Donalds. Other cancel. Fine. See, look, four minute drive, one minute cycle because it is in the town. So I've accepted Pizza Express for £6.66. It will be going quite a distance. It'll be going to Cricketers Parade and further up, but that brings me back the way I like again. So that is good. And this is much quicker to cycle there because you couldn't actually park there because it's in the, um, bit where there's like no parking, whereas I can push my bike down there and stop my bike there. So that is good. Just put that I'm here. Right. <laughs> Yeah, good, thank you. Right. It's really good. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, 16. 15 and a half. It's not really. You're not much slower than the traffic. And it's no effort at all. How far does it go? How far? The batteries are 40 to 50 miles. I've got two batteries. Got two batteries? Yeah. I put my. Break on. Hi. Hi. Seven nine six four. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have about five minutes, two miles left. Just, hi. <laughs> it's just such a nice ride. Like right now there's no traffic and I'm just casually going through the town. It's lovely. We're getting there. I mean, they pay for this one £6.66, so you're going to expect to be cycling a fair distance for the pay. With Deliveroo and Uber, the ones I'm using here, you're only paid from the restaurant to the customer, not to drive to the restaurant. So if you're new, you have to just be careful with that. So if you drive, like, cause I didn't realize for a long time, if you drive 10 minutes to the restaurant and it's like three miles, you're not paid for that distance. And especially delivery, you're told to pay beforehand, but Uber Eats, you're not. So it caught me out for quite a long time to start with. Everyone's like looking. <laughs> it's so like different from what anyone's seen before. I suppose when uh, that, that driver it was like 15.5 miles per hour doesn't sound quick. But obviously that's a legal limit anyway. And I don't think you'd want to be going much quicker on a bike anyway. What is the time? I don't know if I've been out for two hours or one hour. I can't see. Hey Siri, what's the time? it's nearly two hours i've been out well that's gone quick it's definitely going quite a distance but it'll only be like one and a half miles back to broadwater the seat's really comfy as well which is good it's not like i've been on here what for like two hours and it's not uncomfortable at all it's much more comfortable than ben's scooter seat even I mean, on a road like this, I am going slower than the traffic, obviously, because the speed limit's 40 miles per hour. 
but in peak times, rush hour and stuff, this is always chock-a-block and it's so busy and you can't get anywhere so you could just filter through this traffic. I mean it's going to be quiet now at 8 p.m on a Sunday night. I just love that the hills are no more difficult than anywhere else. It's just you do nothing extra. <laughs> Two minutes to go. You feel like you should be able to pedal quicker when you're going downhill but because it's got the legal limit of 15.5 miles per hour you can't physically go any quicker. Feels like you should be able to. <laughs> We're down at, when I went out, I was on 89% battery or 88% and now I'm on 44%. We have gone quite a distance though and I've got another battery at home. One minute to go. I love that you can just give a little glance at your mirror just to make sure you're okay. The, the model I'm on is the newest one. Um, but you still can get the older models and I believe they told me when they dropped it off you can get the older model at a discounted price and buy one get one free um, and you can use my code Atlanta for 5% off it was really weird just cycling along here I'm so used to driving it you feel like you should be struggling but you don't <laughs> like you feel like you should be struggling going uphill and sweating and everything but there is none of that at all just turn it up Ooh, there it is hi that one that's on its own thank you there we go thank you very thank much. you have a good evening you too, thank you Delivery complete, thumbs up. Okay, I have accepted a Sainsbury's order on delivery for three pounds. Uh, I haven't put my maps on as it's literally straight up a road, but I reckon I'll be there within five minutes. Indicator on. Two minutes, 0 0.4 miles, not far at all, which is lovely. I've had a really fun evening delivering. It's been good. The pay hasn't been bad, it's not been busy pay hasn't been bad you're not paying anything in fuel right where is it i've delivered to that one before is it that one um, this one just like that hi there we go have a good evening thank you asked me to do another Sainsbury's it's going to Durrington no, I don't want to do that <laughs> and I am going to end the video there I've had so much fun this evening it's actually so much fun um the pay wasn't bad at all considering you're not paying fuel or insurance um it worked out as like over 10 pound an hour and I was very much picking and choosing and sat there for a while with no order so I definitely could have earned more if I wanted to and just getting used to it at the moment just worked it out that it worked out as 12 pound 50 an hour which isn't bad since you have no expenses um at all so I think that's pretty good and like I said I was picking and choosing not doing every order and sat there for quite a while with no order because I was picking and choosing so I think that's pretty good. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next Sunday at 10am with a new video. Bye! Just ending my night with KFC and it came through that the Uber order I did also took £3.12 so that's amazing so that made my average more like £13 or £14 an hour which is great.